Hello, all my friends. You asked for it, you got it. I'm doing daily Christian End Times news now, all for the glory of God, getting the word out. There's so much stuff, man. So let's get right into it. A lot to cover, as always. Brand new polls show Israel's neighbors prefer war greatly over any peace talks. The Psalm 83 war is so close, my friends. Arabs are now blaming internal discord in their countries on a Zionist plot from Israel to destabilize their nations and to gobble them up as part of a future Israeli colonialist empire. The Psalm 83 war again is so near. NASA says they will detail a major science finding from the agency's ongoing exploration of Mars during a news briefing at 11.30 a.m. Eastern on Monday, September 28th at the James Webb Auditorium at NASA headquarters in Washington. <clears throat> the event will be broadcast live on NASA the same day as a super blood moon. I wonder what it could be. Brand new poll. Most U.S. Muslims, these peace-loving Muslims that live here, would love to get rid of the U.S. Constitution and replace it with Sharia law, just like I've warned you all along for years, my friends. I would not want to be here after the eminent Harpazo. This place is going to be a nightmare. You think it's bad now. You are not alone. Most people believe that aliens exist. The excuse for the eminent Harpazo will be aliens, which are demons, my friends. It is all set. The stage is set. Russia announces naval drills near Israel over the next two months. The Gog Mega war practice, maybe? A no-show for a decade. Russia's Putin, who is Gog of Magog, Russia, is heading to the UN. Gog is flexing his muscles now on the global stage. A rare 3,000-year-old King David era seal discovered by Temple Mount Sifting Project. Once again, the Bible continues to be proven true. Praise the Lord. To science's chagrin. World leaders set to adopt broad UN goals to tackle global woes otherwise known as the One World Government Genesis that will be laid out this weekend when almost every leader on the planet will be there at the UN, the first time it's ever happened like that. Russians, Syrians, and Iranians setting up a military coordination cell in Baghdad. This may lead to Damascus total annihilation via the Isaiah 17 prophecy, which will in turn initiate the Psalm 83 war, which will in turn initiate the Gog Magog war, which Iran and Russia happen to be the two main players. Russian fighter jets enter Syria with their transponders turned off so they can't be located or tracked. This, my friends, could actually be seen as an act of war, which is coming very soon anyways. Syrian army is using new Russian jets to strike Islamic State. A monitor says, what if one of those jets strikes Israel? Could that also kick off Isaiah 17 prophecy? Better believe it could. Finnish demonstrators attack refugees with stones and fireworks. Wow. Even the ultra-peaceful Finnish people are now being led by Satan. So sad. The Pope addresses his closeness to the world's Muslim population. I bet he does. Thousands of homeless in flooded Sierra Leone capital while a huge storm wreaks havoc on the east coast of Obama land. The Antichrist, Barack Obama, will veto a bill that would protect babies born alive during abortion procedures. How pathetic. There are more active volcanoes and earthquakes happening now by far than any time in the history of the world. Birth pangs, my friends, are everywhere. And lastly, the Antichrist Barack Obama orders Sergeant First Class Martlin, a highly decorated career Army Green Beret combat veteran, to be kicked out of the Army. <clears throat> what was this crime, you might ask? He confronted an Afghan police officer, child rapist. Obama also denied his appeal. This world we live in is so sick and so sad, and I just can't wait to get out of here. It just makes me want to cry to see how evil and terrible and horrible things are. And again, you think things are bad now? Wait until soon when the imminent Harpazo kicks off, the true bride of Christ is gone, and Satan comes down to earth becomes uh, Satan incarnate via the Antichrist and false prophet, the unholy trinity, and they bring pure hell to this earth for seven years that will rip this world to its foundations. 
It's going to be horrible beyond man's wildest imagination and nightmares and fears. If God didn't intervene, all flesh would be destroyed, as it is about two-thirds of all humans will die the most grotesque, awful, horrible, horrific deaths possible. And the, even more sad, most who think they're Christians, most who think they've lived their lives for Christ, they're now backslidden because they have sin patterns or iniquities in their lives they won't repent of. They'll be right here with the unsaved. I have all the scripture that proves this, 250 of them, in exhaustive commentary that a little child can understand. I've sent it to tens of thousands around the world. If you want a copy, message me. I also have 150 scripture and exhaustive commentary a child can understand that proves a harpazo or catching away is pre-trib. Message me for a copy of that. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, make sure you contact me and I'll pray for you every day. Look in the comments box below the title of the video. I've got a prayer and six vital next steps. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed the next month, week, day, hour, minute, or second of their life. Also in that box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved in the Tribulation, what to expect A to Z. Keep witnessing and praying, true Christians. That's our job. After that, it's between them and God. Witness, pray, and walk away. But those who are truly ready, who are saved by Christ's precious blood, who repent, who keep our oil filled up, the Holy Spirit filled up within us, look up. Our addiction draweth nigh. We fly soon. I pray you all have a blessed weekend and share this news with everybody you possibly can. And it's time, it's time to get serious, my friends. No time to play games anymore. Get serious and get going. And thanks to all those who are part of my new channel, my peaceful oasis for Jesus Christ. Thanks for being part of it and for sharing. May God bless you and take care of yourselves.